Good afternoon, this is Bruce and uh, welcome back to my shop on this lovely Friday, uh, Saturday afternoon. Um, we've dispensed with a super urgent job that came in this morning and we're back on uh, the, the cranky arm. We're on part three now. Uh, we've, we've machined and fastened the pivot for the big hole, I'll show that in a second. Um, and then we part reamed the small hole to give us a reference. We, when we reamed that it, it didn't matter where it was um, and just to get that first section we just picked up that hole and, um, and reamed a section of it and then we've used that uh, to find our exact reference. Uh, now we're going to begin the, the, main, um, the main work. Um, so we'll just take that out. Yeah, so where we, where we are, we, we machined that hole, we made a, a block to go onto the onto the table and uh, we set the uh, we, we set the arm about th that angle and we bored a little bit there um, now what we've done is we've by using that um, pivot we've pivoted it around to get these dimensions so that we've got along the the x we've got 216 millimeters and along the y uh, we've got uh, 154 millimetres and that places uh, that hole in the right direction and it places the direction of the slot at, in the X on, on the zero line of the X um, and it allows us to lay out this eight hole bolt circle which we're actually only drilling six holes because two of them fall in the slot and not required. Um, so we've we, we took everything off after we bored this out, cleaned the table, reset the whole thing up, did that, now now we've got it. What we see now, um, I'll just turn that around, um, turn that around and we'll go, we'll go around here a bit, there we go. Yeah, so what, what we see in here, is inside here, is, is a, uh, just something I had, some scrap, uh, which was a piston head, I machined that a neat fit. Uh, we're on the on the big um, uh, big bars again, uh, and we've made it so that it drops straight down in there. So that's that's given us the reference. We we bought it over here, which, but then now this has given us a reference, and we are on. Let's see if we can see that there. Uh, we are on the 216 on the in the X and 154 in the Y. So now I can I can uh, do the, go to the next stage. So we'll um, we'll leave this and uh, because that's I can do the noisy stuff in the daytime and the, the quieter stuff I can do at night. So reaming this out, uh, what I intend to do this is a 47 mil. I need 55 mil here. So I go and I've uh, borrowed um, I borrowed another rotor brooch. This is a 52 uh, millimeter rotor brooch, a, one, a two inch one. So I'm going to go through with this rotor brooch and then I'm going to use this one, which that goes quite quickly. Uh, in fact, I might show you even how quickly it does go. Um, and uh, after that, I'll then put the boring head and, and do the boring. But as I say, that's a quiet job and I can do that later on in the evening. But we will demonstrate it just now, just to show, um, show this, uh, the great thing about using these, with, very, with great care, of course. Um, and the results we get uh, are absolutely fantastic. Um, and, uh, I use I use these in the mill and the light of the mills and the lathe and so forth. Um, lots of nice black stuff on it. And um, yeah, so we'll we'll run that up. We we'll give it some light. We'll go down into the hole. As I said, we've set it up. You can set this on automatic, but I prefer to do it by hand because sometimes you'll find that the, the bottom is out and, and the fluff stops it from advancing and so you, you, you must take it out and clean it. And bearing in mind that we're, we're doing the first cut through here, this is the raw gas flame CNC cut beforehand. Uh, 
Uh, these um, high-speed rotor brooches are very delicate because they've only got such a thin wall that they're normally made for cutting slugs. But I use them, um, as I say, uh, quite a lot. So there we have it. So there's, um, there's our number three. And um, we'll do a setup and start doing the machining here and we'll come back and we'll do another, another movie.